Hello and welcome back to our channel. So today we will be discussing about ServiceNow form template. So what is form template in ServiceNow? So ServiceNow is a cloud-based IT service management tool that helps organizations to stream their IT operation. Form templates are an essential features of ServiceNow according to me, which provides a predefined format for creating and customizing forms. So the form templates are designed to standardize and automate the creation process whenever you are creating certain form out, whenever you are filling certain form out. So this template can be used to predefine certain fields out, to pre-populate certain fields out whenever the record get created. Okay. How now the question will be arise in your mind, right? How it can benefit the users or to the developers? So form template provides several benefits for ServiceNow users. Firstly, it simplifies the form creation process by providing pre-designed format for the users to follow. This eliminates the need for users to start from the scratch when creating new forms, saving the, them valuable time and efforts. Additionally, form templates ensures consistency across forms within the organization. With standard template, it is easier to maintain consistent formatting and data correction across different team, business units and department. This can help us to improve efficiency, reduce, reduce error and ensure compliance with company with policy. So why I'm using this form template? So in as a developer, we have a lot of activities, day to day activities, which is uh, kind of generic, right? And for example, creation of change request, right? So we, whenever you want to create a change request, you have to follow the same set of protocols, right? You have to create, you have to fill 80% of the form with the same attribute what you did for the last, okay? So you can save this effort by creating a template. Okay, so you wherever you want to create a change, you can simply apply that template, and most of the fields will get pre-populated out of it. Now we will see how we can create a form template, and then we will see how we can apply it out also. I hope the benefits are clear to everyone. So let's go to our favorite table, incident. So I will go to all incident. And for instance, uh, let's create this particular and let's open this particular incident. So you can consider this is a generic uh, incident which is created by your team, okay? Which is need to access common drive. So for instance, consider that uh, this drive access is getting eliminated on a regular basis, right? Okay. Uh, and you have to recreate the incident, okay, just to get the access to the common drive. So you have to create this incident again and again. So it's pretty boring according to me to fill this form again and again, right? Okay. So what you can do, for example, I will just, um, so you can consider you are part of lazy group. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. Okay. And uh, you have to do this activity again and again for weekly, monthly things. Okay. So instead of form, filling the same information again and again, what you can do, you can create a form template out of it. So you can create a form template out of the create out of the existing record first. You will see that. So you can go to this particular record, and over here you can see the three dots, right? So you can click on these three dots, and there you can see the option called toggle template bar. So you can simply click on this toggle template bar, and what it will do. I click on this toggle template bar so you can see at the bottom you can see this template bar right with the with the template created on this particular table so we have two templates already created out of the box incident call type and major incident so you can create a new template out so how you can do that so you can simply click on plus over here and what it will do it will extract the information from the current record and it will give you the provision to create template out of it so it's just collecting the data from the current template. Okay. As you can see, it has already selected a table as an incident. Okay. Template name is template two. And it will, it will fill out the templates also, template also for the same. Okay. <coughs> so let's just wait. So as you can see, all the information got filled, right? Caller is this and all the things. Now you can, what you can do, you can simply eliminate the things which is, which can change on a database, right? Like caller can change. So I will just remove the caller out. Okay. Parent incident can change. So we don't need parent incident. 
and the short description and all those things you can keep as this okay state and all and you can re rename this template so i will just give it to access to common drive drive and you can give the short description this is the template for access to common drive perfect okay and here you can see the options right to which particular user you want to uh, expose this template to so only that particular criteria whoever is filling this criteria okay only those user can see the template and those user can use this template out so currently it's user system administrator you can also give so i will give this to the group uh, lazy group okay why lazy group because lazy people only do do this kind of things right i am one of them okay if you make it global then it's available to everyone okay so we will avoid this at this particular point of time and then you can simply submit it out if you clear it out it will clear all the fields out and it will give you the provision to get it started from the scratch you can also add couple of more fields if you require <coughs> so for for an instance what for instance anything you can add okay i i will not add anything over here okay but you can you can add for instance work note this is work note and so on so it's saving a tons of efforts for you right and what we will do we will simply submit this new template out okay so the template got created you can see it over here also now what i will do i will, for instance uh, i want to uh, create an incident for common drive in the future right so what i can do i can simply go to incident dot do and if i came over here right now i don't have to fill all this information manually what i can do simply i can toggle the template out and here now i can see access to common drive if i click on it it will pre populate all the fields for me okay whatever was there as a part of this incident so it has pre populated and you can simply mention the caller caller is what system admin for now and you can simply submit it out it you can see that it has saved a tons of ton of your time right this is the first way through which you can create an a form template which is by creating a form template from the existing record if you want to create it, and you can do it on any table any table you can do it out so you can create uh, this this uh, form template for any table wherever you feel it's required so i basically use it for change management because i used to create a change on a weekly basis so that's where i use it out a lot the other way to create this form template is let's go to the incident first okay dot list as people will ask oh the incident didn't get created and all those things out right so as you can see now uh, the incident got created out of it okay Uh, we also had a work note for the same perfect the other way to create the template is you can simply uh, search for system de definition system definition and under system definition there will be templates okay templates so here you can see all the templates across the instance right so you can see the last one is access to common drive so you can open this template out and edit it out if you want or you can simply click on new button but this time you will not have the populated information you can um create it on your for example if i am creating for change request right so i can give change change template and i can make it available to again the lazy group okay and you can select the table then only this template values will come up right because it's dependent on the template values so you can select the table first i've already clicked on it 
Mm-hmm. Oh, it's taking time. It got stuck, I guess. Yeah. Wait. Come on. It should not happen. This is. So you can you can you can simply select the table out of out from here and you can create your own template from this particular model also and whenever you go to the table and if you toggle the template out you will have the provision to search the filter over there also the system got crashed <clears throat> so you can you can create it out of this also right and also if you want to search, if you have created tons of template on certain table out right <coughs> so for example if i go to incident again dot do okay and for instance if you consider you have created tons of template on the incident okay and it's difficult for you to find your template right so what you can do you have the search provision also so you can click on this three dots and here you can filter it out so for example i select comment right so it will give this particular template out there so we also have the search context over there so this is all for today's tutorial i hope it got clear to you this is a very minute thing okay but uh, i find it pretty useful in my day to day activity so i am sharing it with you hope you like this video if you liked it or please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified of my future videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you